This is the South Bend B model. It's a three foot lathe. And I haven't seen a video on this before, so I thought I'd do a quick one, maybe help somebody out. Yeah, I could have used it, I know that. Uh, it seems to fall into play that a lot of people just don't think they can fit on a regular countertop. And to prove that it can, 24 foot right there. This is a standard countertop. And all I really had to do was uh, cut the belt down. That's about down, well, that length right there, and I'll measure it real quick. Should have known that, sorry. I cut about uh, 12 and 3 quarters inch out of it. And I actually relaced, since I only cut one part of it, I relaced that myself. Opened the prongs and just bent them back in, but I'd probably recommend buying another belt. They're about $24. One the correct length, just so you don't have to mess with it. Uh, and the only other thing you have to do is, uh, of course, shorten your uh, linkage up there. You can cut a couple inches off each one. And I wanted to make sure I had plenty of adjustment. And uh, so I made it so it just went to the end of the threaded area. And I had a, about an inch and a half play either way. But it works very well. And it's more compact. And it fits on the uh, countertop real well. And uh, the last thing I'd probably, a little tip I'd like to give you, is just make sure that these pulleys are lined up. I just took a level that was about the same width as the belt and just made sure that uh, it hit the shoulder of both pulleys and that lines it up real well and you've got a little movement there in the bolts that you can make but uh, all in all it was pretty easy took me about an hour and uh, saved a lot of space and I got it on the countertop where I wanted so I hope this helps somebody out and uh, you can do it it's not a big problem at all as long as you don't have a uh, floor model alright have a great day bye